Hello tonight as part of the Human Genome Project. Scientists are decoding the precise gene that makes smokers crave nicotine. By altering that gene, researchers hope to help millions of smokers kick the habit. Now, who are those scientists? They're high school students from Aurora. Dr. Breen joins us now with more. Dr. Mike? This, to me, is just amazing. It's been called the greatest scientific achievement of our lifetime, the decoding of our DNA. It'll allow us to predict illness, so perhaps to reverse cancer and heart disease. It's history. And right in the middle of history are some local high school students. The problem, smoking. The biggest public health killer of our time. And the solution? It may start right here with these local high school students. You have to put it in a big picture, and it's just like, whoa. <laughs> the students are part of the Human Genome Project. In our cells, we all have 46 strands of DNA called chromosomes. Each strand has many genes, and researchers think they've now found the gene that makes some people addicted to nicotine. They think that because some mice have that same gene. And those mice then have a predisposition to have nicotine addiction. The problem is, each gene is a unique sequence of four building blocks. The building blocks are C, G, A, and T. The question now for researchers at the University of Washington was, what is the precise sequence of that gene in humans that may cause the craving for nicotine? To find an answer, researchers turned here to this lab class at the Wabansi Valley High School. Their teacher, Elaine Modine, had convinced those researchers that her students could do it. The Washington researchers first sent snippets of DNA containing the gene. The students had spent a year learning lab techniques. They did simulations for a week, and then over four days, took apart that snippet and decoded its DNA. A, A, T, C, A, T. This is the code, right? This is the code for that particular gene. Right. Once they found the sequence, they sent it by computer directly to scientists in Washington. C, G, A, G, I, do you want to double check it? And then we're going to enter that in the National Data Bank. All this uh, from a high school. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> now that that gene's been sequenced, the goal is to prevent future smoking by altering that gene and ending that addiction. It's the first attempt ever to use our new understanding of DNA to fight the addiction to nicotine. For these high school students, it's all pretty heavy stuff. I have parents and grandparents who all smoke. Now to imagine society without need for cigarettes or the cravings, it's flabbergasting. It's just like, wow. These 17-year-olds still can't quite believe the enormity of what they've been a part of. But their teacher never doubted them for a second. I'm almost in awe, you know, that we can have these experiences, but completely confident students, you know, can do this, can make this contribution, too, so. Makes you feel pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it does. You may wonder where the money for this project came from. Well, that teacher, Elaine Modine, was high school teacher of the year, and she put her award money toward this project. So takes that much. She was actually the um, Illinois Science High School Teacher of the Year. Took the money and put it toward this project. That's an amazing science project. Can you look in your <laughs> crystal ball? In your crystal ball, can you see a day when virtually no one will smoke? Yeah, well, it's going to happen sooner or later. I mean, it's, it's going to happen in this country far before the, the rest of the world. But the real issue now is the hardcore smokers who are left, who are addicted. And that's just who may be helped by this research. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Michael. Thank you.